now uh, let's go ahead and create the address model for the user so we'll say model address we will copy some things from here let's copy this all and paste it uh, we will remove all these things and in the maps we'll say addresses so it will be the addresses table and in the address we will have line one it will be of type string line two it will also be of type string and it can be optional like uh, it's not mandatory to have this so for optional we can place this here and apart from this we can have city of type string and country of type string and apart from that we can have pin code as well of type string so this is all what we need for the address and we need to link these two models so address must contain a user so for that we will have a user id and user id will be of type int and then we will have a user and user will be of type user this is how like we establish one to many relations so a user can have multiple addresses and we will say at relation and inside at relation we will say fields user id and it references nah. id so this is how you establish the relation and for the reverse relation we will have addresses here and it will be of type address array so the relation is established so when user can have multiple address and every address must be linked to a user so user id is given here and it references the id field of this user table so it is like pretty obvious if you have followed the course till now so i am sure you must be aware about this so let's quit this and we will say npx prisma migrate dev and we will give it a name of add addresses table so it's created now what we want to do is uh, in the auths where we are sending the current logged in user we want to send the address as well and then we will create like we can either send it here or we can create a separate route where we can list all the addresses of a user so we will go with that approach we will create a separate route where we can list all the uh, address of a given user and we will create a simple one more route to delete the address and one more to add the address so three routes in total so let's do that in the next lecture